Hello everyone. Welcome to Go Get My Guru. In today's video, we'll discuss about components. So what are components in Angular? Components are nothing but foundational building blocks for any Angular application. So each component in Angular has three parts. TypeScript, HTML template and CSS style. You all know that Whenever we created a new project in Angular, by default, it created an app component. And we have seen that app component also had these three files. So if I go to app component and you can see there is a CSS file, HTML file and two TS files. The first file that is CSS file is used for style sheet. HTML file is the components HTML file. There is one more file called as spec.ts file, which is mainly used for unit testing purpose and there is a component.ts file. So let's go into the component.ts file. So in Angular, component is declared using at the rate component decorator. And then we have various properties of the component. And the first property is selector. What is this selector? Is selector acts as a name of the component or selector is nothing but the identifier of that particular component. Like every person has a name from which we can identify him. Similarly, every component has a selector from which we can identify it in another template standalone property. So here Angular 18 by default when we create a project standalone property is set as true. What is the meaning of this is independent. They need not to be uh, declared under modules, any modules. So that is what is standalone component. So they are sufficient by themselves. So which we can refer it in any other template. If you look at the previous versions of the Angular, here I have previous version project created in Angular. There is one file called as appmodule.ts. If you look at previous versions, you can see here all the components we used to create needs to be compulsory registered in this particular module. In Angular 18, it is not necessary because all the components are made as standalone components so they don't depend now on any modules so what exactly uh, is the advantage of standalone component is standalone components main advantage is reusability when wherever we want in our application we can just import that component there is no need of ng module now so that's why app module.ts is removed now from angular 18 version you can observe here we don't have any app module here because they are self-sufficient and they can be called anywhere in the application that's why it is set as true and then there is one more property called as imports imports is nothing but here by default it is importing router outlet in short i'll tell you what is router outlet is it is just a placeholder which dynamically replaces routing links we will go ahead in detail in the upcoming videos so if suppose I wanted to refer any other component here or any other modules here, I can list them under this import. So if suppose we are going to use forms module in our application, so we can just import that here forms module so that for this particular component, I can make use of the forms module. So all the modules, all the components, anything you are referring for this particular component, you can import them in the import section. I'll just delete this. We have one more property called as template URL and style URL. So template URL, if you look at this, it is referring to components HTML page. It's an external link which is referring to components HTML page and style URL is referring to components CSS page. So what I have done in this component HTML page is I have deleted the default code whatever it has generated and I'm just giving one h1 tag welcome to angular 18 and I have provided one CSS uh, for that h1 tag just changing the color. That's it. Let's run the application ngs. So you can observe it is rendering whatever I have provided in the h1 tag. Let me go back to again uh, app component.ts file. So in the component.ts file, these are some of the properties by default which it is giving. So apart from this, we have a list of properties. If suppose my uh, HTML page has a limited content wherein I don't want to give reference to uh, an HTML file. So what I can do, there is one more property called as template property. So in this template, assume I'm going to give a limited HTML. So just one simple line of text I'll give and then say welcome only this much I'm giving okay this is a limited content so I don't want to refer it to external file now Again, one more uh, property we have that is styles property. So I can provide styles for this here itself. So styles property, I'll just comment it. And in the styles property, I'm going to style this H1 uh, tag. Now let's go to the server and check. You can see the 
text has changed now the html it is getting rendered is from this particular template that is welcome but in my html page what i have welcome to angular fine if you look at the selector there is a app prefix to this so if you go to uh, angular.json file you can see here prefix by default it is mentioning it as app so any component you create prefix will be added as app itself anything you create suppose if i wanted to create register login page admin page uh, dashboard page all those things app hyphen then that particular uh, component name what you are giving that would be created so let me go back to component.ts how to create a new component i'll just go to the terminal in the terminal i'll create ng g c so ng generate component you can write it fully ng generate component or you can use the shortcut ng gc and always make it a habit to create components in a separate folder so in order to create a folder you can use a vs code designer or you can use the command as well so suppose i want to create a component and put it in a components folder so what i'll do i'll say components slash let's say i wanted to create register component so i'll just hit enter you can see here four files are getting created html spec.ts component.ts and component.css previous versions these four files used to get created and one file used to get updated that is app module.ts because uh, the component we created will be added in the declarations if i go to src folder there is a components folder inside it inside the components folder it has created all these four files we go to register component.ts now you can observe here selector of this particular component is app hyphen register so that's why i mentioned app is a prefix for any component you create and then it takes the name of the component what you are giving let's go to app component.html now what i'll do i'll just try to comment this line and in the html page i want to render the register component so how will i write app hyphen register so as a tag you always have to enter because by default your uh, app component is loaded in the app components html page i'm just mentioning load the register page uh, as such in the register component dot html if you observe it's giving register works okay now go back to app component dot html and now let's try to run this control back tick and ng s so there is an error app register is not a known element if app register is angular component verify that it is included in the imports of this particular component so what is that error is telling us it's angular is not understanding what is this app register from where it is coming so we have to give the reference from where it is coming so that reference you should give it in the app component dot ts file so in the app component dot ts file what i'll do i'll import the register component so just say you can see the moment i type reg it will try to suggest me register component so try to add this so it is importing this register component from components folder register from there it is trying to import and now if i try to run my application so on the browser now we can see register work so from the app component i'm just trying to render the content which is there in the register component so now let's say in the register component dot html i want to add one more tag h1 tag and uh, this h1 tag i want to add a content this is register component in the app component dot html i will just uncomment this line welcome to angular 18 i want to uncomment it uh, now if you go to browser observe welcome to angular 18 which is getting rendered from app component dot html register works and this is register component they are getting rendered from the register component what we have created suppose assume that for both the hash h1 tags i want to provide same stylings means uh, suppose assume i wanted to provide the same color then don't use this particular component css file app component dot css if you observe there is a h1 color brown now the same color i want to apply for the all the h1 tags in my application that means i have to use one more file that is called as style dot css file if you go to this style dot css file you can add the styles globally so what i'll do i'll just go to app component dot css and then i'll comment this and let me go to style.css and then here i will apply a global styling i'll say color uh, say brown and now if we go to application you can see both 
are rendered in the same color if you like the content kindly hit the subscribe button and also press the bell icon for future videos thank you